Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks of some of the qualities or exposes the qualities of some of the people of the book in Medina Munawwara. They used to encourage people to do good, but they did not used to do good themselves. They used to remind people to fear Allah, but they did not fear Allah themselves. From amongst them, some of the Jewish people, Allah makes mention of those at the time, some of them of Medina Munawwara, they used to tell the others, hey, fear God and do not engage in that which is sinful. And themselves, they used to engage in the sin. They did not fear Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us all by exposing them. Do you instruct people to do good yet, to, yet you forget yourselves? Yet you are reading the book. Do you not have sense? Do you not have a mind to think? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us all to say it is good and proper to give others a reminder, but remember yourself. And this is why we are taught that whenever you speak out to others or remind them, always say, I need this reminder more than you, or we all need this reminder or include the speaker in it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide me and you all. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all and not make us from amongst those who want to correct others without worrying about their own weakness. And this is why my brothers and sisters remember something. When we correct someone's weakness, we should always do so with humility and humbleness. We should never forget that we may be having bigger and greater hidden weaknesses, which perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not exposed. May he forgive us and may he never expose us. Ameen.